People want answers on what is next for the man known as the prime suspect in a 13-year-old girl's murder. We're working to figure out when he could be facing more charges. Stephen Stearns is the girl's mother's boyfriend. Right now, he's charged with sexual battery and child pornography. Investigators think instead of dropping Madeline Soto off at Hunter's Creek Middle School last Monday, he killed her, threw away her backpack, and hit her body. Investigators later found her on Friday. And as Kissimmee police investigate Madeline Soto's murder, there are new questions tonight about social media posts published by a different law enforcement agency. So over the weekend, employees at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office posted a crime scene photo and a selfie with the prime suspect in Soto's disappearance. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. And Mike, you just heard from prosecutors about this. That's right. I just received a statement from state attorney Andrew Bain, who will be prosecuting the case. He says in part, I'm deeply disturbed that the photos were carelessly made public. While I do not believe that these photos will have any evidentiary impact, Impact on the case. As of now, they were released in poor taste. Late Friday afternoon, Osceola County Sheriff's deputies discovered the body of 13 year old Madeline Soto in a wooded area. On the very next morning, on the official Instagram page for Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez, someone posted a photo that appeared to show a close up view of the crime scene. News 6 has blacked out that image. But the photo caption, which reads, Great day with our seniors, suggests the posting was unintentional. In a statement issued Saturday afternoon, the Osceola County Sheriff's Office said, quote, Earlier today, a post was made on social media about a community event for seniors. In the post, an investigative photo was accidentally included. The photo was immediately removed. We deeply apologize for any confusion or disturbance this may have caused. As with any investigation, the information obtained is confidential and any mistaken disclosures will be immediately rectified. That could affect the investigation and prosecution of the case, the defense of the case, and, and it could also affect the potential jury pool. News 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer says the photos release may prompt a defense attorney to try getting the trial moved to another location. And he says it could open Sheriff Marcos Lopez up to civil liability. You've got a grieving family that's suffering and you're, you may see an argument that this photo, even if it wasn't intentional, the release was negligent and as a result, you may see a claim for damages and a lawsuit result from that. The agency has not disclosed whether Sheriff Lopez himself or another staff member posted the Instagram photo. That same morning, Sheriff's Office employee Nerva Rodriguez posted this photo on her personal Facebook page. It shows Rodriguez posing in front of Stefan Stearns, the prime suspect in the teenager's disappearance. The caption reads, If God's love has been poured out over your life, don't allow evil to keep you away from what he has prepared for you. The post includes the hashtag Nerva Rodriguez. Rodriguez is the executive director of the sheriff's office, a civilian position that oversees several departments, including the agency's social media. The photo was removed from Rodriguez's Facebook page after News 6 began asking questions about it. Rodriguez did not respond to my request for comment. A sheriff's office spokesperson said it could not answer questions about Rodriguez's Facebook post due to ongoing investigations. Lisa and Matt. Mike DeForest, thank you.